everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. I am so excited to share this hack with you because um, if it's making me this excited and giddy using this hack, I hope that it makes you happy. I hope that it changes the way that you do ink swatches or even just playing with inks in general. You know that I love to play with inks um, and I have been using this beautiful vintage glass dip pen. However, I don't know if you could see this, but um, I nicked it. Uh, I rinsed it and as I was, um, you know, what do you call this? As I was trying to get all the excess water off, I accidentally nicked it against my countertop and so now it is completely um, sheared off. It's really jagged. I don't know if I can be able to file this down or somehow bring it to some sort of nib point. Um, and I was doing this in the middle of filming my uh, one of my ink comparison videos. Um, and to finish my ink, ink, in order to finish filming my ink comparison video, I ended up just, just out of necessity using um, one of my empty Pilot Kakuno fountain pens. Um, and so I, you know, dipped it in my ink and I would write out my, my writing samples. Um, the problem is though, is that even if it's empty and I dip it into ink, um, it's got this nib feed. And so washing it out or cleaning it between inks, you know, as I'm playing with each ink is a bit of a hassle. Um, so that happened. So I'm in the middle of actually getting another vintage dip pen, glass dip pen, and that's going to be shipped in, I don't know, I would say a couple, several weeks, I would say. So as I wait for that, um, I was thinking, okay, well, out of necessity, I'll just use my Pilot Kakuno empty fountain pen and dip. But then I thought about just, so this is what I thought about. Um, you know, I was starting to switch out these nibs because, you know, this is an extra fine. Um, and I was starting to play with different nib sizes. And it was actually prompted by my Olive Caveco Sport because this is currently inked in Diamine Safari, uh, but it's really easy to change out the nibs. I had it previously in a fine, and this is now currently a broad tip. And it's as simple as, let me just demonstrate this for you. It's as simple as just pulling it out. The nib and the nib feed comes out. And then all you do is you take out the nib and then replace it and put either the fine nib or whatever nib of choice, a Caveco nib. And then when you're done, you just put it back in and then it's ready to write. So as I thought about that, I, I, I started thinking about um, what other pens can I take out the nibs? And as I was doing that, I came across a really, really fun idea, which is what if we took out one of these pilot or one of these fountain pen nibs? And if you look at it, I don't know if you could see it. Do you see how cylindrical the nib is? And it reminds me of calligraphy nibs. I have calligraphy nib holders just around the house because I love to tinker with calligraphy as well. And if you pop it in, it becomes a calligraphy or it becomes a fountain nib dip pen or it becomes a fountain pen nib dip pen. That sounds a little redundant, but um, I thought this was just so exciting for me because I love to play with inks. And even when I do ink swatches, glass dip pens are wonderful with, um, you know, with, with, writing, with writing samples. However, it doesn't give you an accurate feel for um, a fountain pen experience. So, so this is um, a nib from the Pilot Metropolitan. And this is currently, this is a medium nib. And so uh, that's what I do. But then I thought, you know what, what if I tried other nibs? So Pilot Metropolitan nibs for sure work. Um, I have, this is brand new, I haven't even used it yet but this is a calligraphy calligraphy nib from Pilot, and this is a Pilot Prera, and this comes out as well. 
comes right off, has a circular base, which is easy to slip it into a calligraphy nib holder. So if I ever want to even try different variations of line widths, then I can do this. <laughs> and I'll demonstrate this later. I currently have this one, this calligraphy nib holder, and it has the Twisby. Twisby works as well. In fact, I think it works even better than Pilot Metropolitan nibs. This is an extra fine nib and it fits perfectly in my calligraphy nib holder. Look at that. Um, and then this is an interesting hack. I don't know how successful this one will be, but one of my old um, brush, brush pens here, I took out the brush part of it, and then I put this, this is a fine nib, Met, uh, Pilot Metropolitan fine nib, and stuck it in. And the good thing about this is that you can cap it. Isn't that cool? So here's another thing. I tried even Caveco Classic Sports or the Caveco nibs. Um, this is my navy blue and this is in a fine nib and I think this is actually um, the fine nib that was in my olive green Classic Sport. The nib just slips right out. And so if I put it in, It's got a circular base as well. It fits right in. Um, the one thing about the Cavecos though, is I think the nibs, the nibs are just really small. So when you dip it into your ink well, um, you just have to be really careful, but it's pretty small compared to Twisby, the Twisby nibs where you can have it extend to maybe possibly a quarter of an inch further out. Um, so I'll do a demonstration with all of these nibs, actually. I'm really, really excited about this. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, so this one currently is in a calligraphy nib, a Pilot calligraphy nib. This is a Pilot Extra Fine, uh, Pilot Kakuno Extra Fine nib. Uh, this is a Pilot Medium. Twisby Extra Fine and a Caveco Fine. In fact, I might even use my Caveco Broad nib as well. So why don't I go ahead and start with some swatches here. I have some uh, Pilot Iroshizuku Kompeki in this tiny little inkwell. When I dip it in, I really dip it in just above the hole. Okay. Then to rinse it out, you dip it in clean water. And then I just keep dipping it until most of the water comes off clear. And then I dry it off. There you go. So I'm gonna remove the calligraphy nib and now I'm going to try, let's see. I'll try a pilot medium. Actually, this isn't the Metropolitan. This calligraphy nib came from 
the pilot prera. Let me just so the thing about dip pens is that you don't have much of an ink reservoir. There you go. So that's the medium. Uh, I also have to tell you the, the timeline of events that brought me to this really exciting place of using fountain pen nibs in calligraphy nib holders. So one incident was the fact that out of necessity, my glass dip pen broke. And so I had to find quickly a solution. And so I used my empty Pilot Kakuno um, nib uh, in this empty pen, uh, which gave me the idea. Then later on, um, I saw uh, the, Pilot, the Pilot Pen Company is coming out actually with this uh, very similar idea. It's a fountain, actually it's exactly the same idea. It's a fountain pen nib dip pen. Um, and I saw it on their YouTube channel and I am so excited for it to come out. It's not available, at least as I've Googled it, it's not available anywhere in the US and apparently it's going to be released anytime. Um, anytime, like in the next day or so. I think the re official release date was supposed to be June 20th. But I checked this morning because I'm filming this um, on Monday, June 20th, and they still haven't made it available. Um, I think I, I've seen it on an Australian website, but nothing here in the United States. So that gave me um, even more inspiration to see if I could figure out how I can make a dip pen using fountain pen nibs. Um, so anyway, that's a that's a segue, but an introduction as to this inspiration uh, for this this pen hack. So I finished the Pilot Metropolitan Medium nib. Now this is my Pilot Kakuno Extra Fine nib, and let's give this one a try. Um, so when I saw the Pilot, um, the the name of the Pilot Fountain Pen dip pen or the fountain dip pen is called Iro Utsushi and I'll provide a picture of it and a link to the YouTube video in the description box below. Um, but they say or they demonstrated in the video that you really only dip it until that breather hole, I guess that that's what you call it, but you only dip it to um, just past the, that, that hole in your pen nib. And not much further. I guess I could go a little further, but that's where most of the ink is is held, um, and it makes it easier too then to be able to clean between inks. So this is the Pilot Kakuno Extra Fine. This is definitely an extra fine line. Extra fine. But look how wonderful this is. You get the direct experience of how this ink or how inks might behave on fountain pen nibs. That's the Pilot Kakuno Extra Fine Nib. I'm going to just rinse this. Now I'm going to try the Twisby Extra Fine Nib. I mean, just look how beautifully it just fits in there. It's like meant, it was meant to be paired. So the Twisby Extra Fine. Remember I'm only dipping it just beyond that breather hole. Oh, this one writes really smooth. This is the Twisby Eco Extra Fine Nib. And you can see how this Extra Fine is a lot broader than the Pilot Kakuno Extra Fine Nib. Just re-inking. Okay. 
Okay, so I've tried, let's see, the Pilot Medium, the Pilot Kakuno Extra Fine, and the Twisby Extra Fine. Now I'm going to use the Caveco Fine Nib. Now it's such a tiny nib that, look, it's, I mean, it's gonna work just fine, but it, it's a little tiny. Um, I guess nothing wrong with that. Uh, but anyway, let me dip this. Okay. All right, can you see this? Okay. This is the Caveco in the fine nib. Writes beautifully. Let me just re-ink this. I guess the one benefit of having a smaller nib on here is that you just have better control. Uh, it may not flex as much, but it's really nice. It's the fine nib. So the Caveco fine nib is very much equivalent to the Twisby Eco Extra Fine nib. Okay, now I'm going to um, sample or use the Caveco broad nib. I mean, it's just so easy to remove it from the holder. Okay. This one is currently inked, so I'm just gonna be a little gentle to it. So the whole nib feed and the nib come out. I'm actually gonna cap this and leave this upright. Actually, I'll put the nib feed back into the pen for now. One of my viewers had asked if you can, or how I was able to switch out the nibs. I mean, I just demonstrated, it's so easy. You can buy uh, the nib section on any of the fountain pen um, retailer websites. You know, you get it in that, I think it's like a nib sec, the whole nib section comes out. Um, but essentially you basically just take the nib feed, you pull the nib feed and the nib out together. Um, Okay, I'm gonna stick this in the holder. It's pretty easy. There you go, this is in the broad nib. I'm going to ink this up. Just above that hole. Okay. Oh gosh, writes just like butter. Caveco, broad. this. I mean, how, how awesome is this? <laughs> so excited. Okay. So these are the only pen nibs that I have tried. Um, I, the Lamy's, the Lamy Safari nibs do not work. If you take a look at their nibs. Um, so how I've taken it off is by using tape. Um, Goulet, Brian Goulet from Goulet Pens has demonstrated this. Uh, you basically take this is washi tape, but he uh, used scotch tape. Oops. He used scotch tape and you essentially just, there we go, slides right off. But if you look at the Lamy nibs, they are not round. Can you see that in the camera? I don't know if you can see that. They've got a bit of an indentation. Um, it's a bit more square, so it would not fit in a nib pen or a nib pen holder. Yeah, even just trying it, it's not gonna work. So unfortunately, Lamy nibs do not work. However, I've tried Twisby, Caveco, uh, Pilot nibs, Pilot nibs, and I mean, they've all worked wonderfully. Um, platinum, platinum Preppy, I have Platinum Preppy nibs. Those do not work either because they're also, um, they've got an edge, more of a rectangular square edge that would not fit in a calligraphy nib holder. 
Uh, I have my Pilot Falcon. This could technically work, but you know, it's one of my nicer gold nibbed pens. So I'm a little nervous about that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. So I would definitely recommend, you know, your Pilot Metropolitans, if you have Pilot Preras. Um, I don't have Varsity and I don't have their like Pilot Petite pens, but I'm curious to find out if their nibs are also rounded just like this. Um, but anyway, uh, the Twisby Broad, the Twisbees, the Pilot Kakuno, Pilot Metropolitan, Pilot, uh, the Caveco Classic Sports, those nibs work perfectly. Um, I'm going to do the calligraphy. I'm going to swatch out the calligraphy nib one more time just for some continuity here. This is beautiful. Makes me love the Pilot Iro Shizuku Kompeki a little bit more just because it's the first ink that I swatched out with this method, this fountain DIY fountain dip pen method. There you have it. I hope, I hope that this really sparks some excitement for you too. It's definitely sparking so much excitement for me. Um, now I'm, I'm just excited to test out all of my nibs. I would say probably my more affordable nibs, but who knows, maybe, um, you know, the gold nib pens would be just as, um, easy to handle. And, uh, but I really encourage you to, if you have a calligraphy nib holder at home, um, and if you've got extra pilot nibs hanging around, uh, pilot, the pilot fountain pen nibs, I really encourage you to try this out. And um, I'm going to start swatching my inks from now on. All of my ink comparison videos, I'm going to use uh, my, my calligraphy nib holder and all of my nibs here. I'm still gonna use a glass dip pen, but um, to give you a better idea of how these inks behave um, in fountain pens, then I'm going to definitely use these nibs. Well, I hope that this hack is really inspiring and helpful for you. Um, and when the Pilot Iro Utsushi pens do come out, stateside especially, I encourage all of us to buy those as well. But in the meantime, I think this hack is going to be really exciting and fun for me and I hope for you too. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.